Hey there, you're watching the Jessa channel on YouTube. I'm Jessa and today I am here with a new Let's Play. This is Yonder, the Cloud Catcher Chronicles. This fantastic open world game, which is somewhat a cross between Zelda, Stardew Valley, those types of games, even has a slight feel of The Sims in it as well. And I know so many of us here on the channel love to play The Sims games. In any case, this game is oh, fantastic. It's beautiful. And get this, hold on to your hats. It was created by Prideful Sloth an indie development studio consisting of just three people. That's what happens when three people really put their mind to something. We get this. <laughs> I want to give many thanks to Kyle McGregor Burleson and Cheryl Vance and her team at Prideful Sloth for offering me a key to play this game. Thank you so much. Let's dive in. We're going to press any button. Before I press new game, I'm just going to let you know some of the things that we'll be doing as I do coverage of this game throughout this week. This game does release tomorrow, July 18th. Tomorrow, July 18th on Steam. So I will be covering the game all this week and I do hope it, by the way, the price of it will be $19.99 and I do hope you will buy a copy and play it along with me as always. Some of the things that we're going to be able to do in this game, there is farming, there's fishing, there's crafting. You can be a carpenter, a chef, a tailor. There's extensive character customization. And get this, it's open world. Open world. Yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> so let's press that new game and head on into the world of Gamia or Jamia. J-E-M-E-A. Let me know which the pronunciation is, please, in the comments. Thank you. All right, let's head in. Okay, here's our dude or dudette. <laughs> How cute is she? Um, all right, so I'm going to go for someone. Oh, my gosh. How cute. Uh, I, yeah, the red hair is great. Or how about oh, blue is good, too. Oh, I'm going to go for the red. <laughs> I just like the way it looks. And um, body shape. You can go. Oh, I see. Kind of kind of broad shouldered. Kind of thin of the waist. I'll go kind of thin of the waist and thick of the hips. <laughs> body size. Woo, that's very thick of the hips. Hello. How are you? It looks like you deeply enjoy chicken. <laughs> Okay, we'll go about there. <laughs> Need to have a little meat on your bones. This is way too thin. Gonna gonna give her something kind of juicy right there. <laughs> Red eyes, very odd. Yellow, no, green. Uh oh. Kind of pinkish. That's good. Alright. So we are playing here as a female. Let's click play. Oh, you can rotate the player with your left mouse button here. Oh, look at that. It has a pack. She has a pack. <gasps> How cute. It's awesome. <laughs> and J or L ah, rotates the player as well. Good. So far, the uh, instructions and what I saw in the options for keyboard support, it's basically a WASD key, uh, keyboards. So let's click play. Our dearest child, it broke our hearts when we sent you away, but it was the only way to keep you safe from the darkness that poisoned our land. When the day comes that you seek the truth, trust in this celestial compass to guide you. It will lead you far across the sea, into darkness and into light, but it will always 
lead you home. Welcome, oh, I should say home, to Jamia. Oh, check it. Look at this. This is great. <laughs> Ahoy there, mateys. <laughs> Yay. We're coming home to Shamia. And there is our character holding a cele I, that must have been the celestial compass. All right, let's see. It looks like we can actually go ahead and move at this point. So we're not gonna, um, you know, the, the urge of course is to hurl over the side because <laughs> our, our little character gets a little seasick, but you know, we can talk to Jib the sailor. There we go. Do you think we'll find people living there? I can't wait to try out exotic new recipes. All right, well, exotic new recipes is good. Oh my gosh, I love her character, it's so cute. Okay. And over here we have, talk to Luff the sailor. Morning, Luff. Looks like your compass is pointing into that bank of fog. Looks pretty thick, I best get up to the bell. Head on up there, Luff. Okay. So the movement of this, I'm just gently moving my camera around here, my mouse around. All third person, looks like. Luff better get up to the bell. I'm curious if we can like grab anything here. Doesn't look like it. Also, and I don't know if this curtain opens. Nope. Okay. I'm going to move the camera kind of slowly, as I always try to do, to keep us get from getting motion sickness. Let's talk to Tack the Sailor. Ooh. It's odd that Jamia doesn't appear on any maps. Maybe it needs a special compass like yours to locate it. All right, so I suppose... Ooh, Captain Pullen. Hey there, hoy there, Captain. Oh. If that compass of yours is right, Jamia should be just behind that bank of fog. Well, mm. are you ready to finally see the island? Yes, we are ready. Show me home. Oh, over there. It's beginning to appear. Let's go down and take a look. Oh, look at that. There was lightning over there. That was awesome. Things are looking a bit messy. Jib, look. It's Jamia. We're getting close. Whoa, that's not good. Airy, a beautiful spirit, appears before us, saying, Fear not, Sprite Seer. You and your friends are safe. You will see them again, but first you have a great task ahead of you. I am Airy, once a proud protector of these lands. I have been waiting for you. Please, may I see your compass? Let's open the compass. Oh, look at how cute she is. Oh my gosh, I love her. This is guiding light. Rotate camera, toggle details. Uh. As soon as we spotted Jamia, the sky shook, the seas roared, and lightning struck. The ship went down, and I awoke in a strange new place. All right. Uh, let's set this as the task, I think. Or do I just click on it like that? Oh, I see. Okay. 
And then let's click escape to go back. As I thought, a celestial compass. Use it whenever you are lost. So this is cool. It looks like a looks like some sort of spirit kitty. It's awesome. Awesome. It will guide you truly, but for now, your path is blocked. Well, then how must we... Excuse me just a moment. I just need to move some things here because my cat in real life wants to get back up on his spot and I had it blocked. <laughs> so it's true to life. Okay, so, uh, but for now, your path is blocked. My family can help you, but they themselves are lost. Find them and they will lead you home. Now, Sprite Seer, awaken. Your journey has only begun. Oh no, shipwreck. Oh, goodness. Oh, I love the sound audio in there. You turn and it turns from ear to ear. That's cool. That's awesome. I don't know if you guys can hear that. If you're wearing headphones, you may be able to hear the sounds uh, shifting from ear to ear. Well, things are much... Definitely... I wonder if anyone has survived. Look how she walks. <laughs> it's awesome. Can I interact with this? No. There were little sparkles on the... There, they are. Maybe I should follow them. I hope no one is... Someone else made it out alive. The music is good, too. What's that strange blue glow? Let's find out. Can we... We can. We can take a look at it. Whoa! Hello! In front of us is a sort of firefly-type bug or something like that. A human! It's been a long time since I've talked to a human. Of all the people who could ha talk to me, all of the people who could talk to me have gone away. Please take me with you. I don't want to be alone anymore. Discovered Sprite Lumi. Of course you can come with us. Although, I have had a bit of bad luck lately. Okay, so we now have Lumi... Lumi, these are... I'm waiting for a moment in which we'll be able to name our character. But I think that I am going to blatantly steal Cheryl's last name and call her Vance. I think that's a great name. Cheryl, let me know if you mind in the comments that I've blatantly stole your last name. Can you pick these? Oh, we can. We discovered a mushroom. Okay, so Vance it shall be. Follow me, Lumi. Wait, Lumi, there's something up ahead. So cute. <gasps> the way out is just past the Merc. I wonder if you click on Merc. It's bad stuff for you humans, though. I'll try to get rid of it, but I am not sure if I can do it alone. You know, I'm going to have to develop a Lumi voice. It'll be kind of high pitch. It's bad stuff for you humans, though. I'll try to I'll try to get rid of it, but I'm not sure if I can do it alone. <gasps> Lumi, you did it! I wish I had my brothers and sisters to help me out. That was hard, says Lumi. <laughs> if we work together, I think we can find them. All right. 
So in recording this, you know, you can always sort of find out how a game is optimized because the taxing effort of recording it as well as playing it. But um, it's sitting at about 50 frames right now. And I went into options and increased everything. Um, all the options. So that's at the highest settings. And that's pretty good. We'll see how it is when we get out into the real world, though. <gasps> Speaking of which... over there let's go check it out so yeah it doesn't look like if I click up, like this extra text here being in a different color it doesn't look like it's anything you can click on so maybe that's just means it's um just extra directions for us or maybe it's part of a quest you really aren't looking the best I bet we could find some help there remember if we get lost, you can use your celestial compass. It's a useful it's useful to map out your travels too. Okay. Anyway, let's head over to the village. One plus Merc cleared in the grasslands. So now we are actually in game with our good friend Lumi. And it is oh the time. It looks like it's three three PM. Day one, spring. Well we're gonna not gonna waste any time. Let's go down. Let's get stuck. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> okay. Um, luckily, I looked at the keybinds. That is space to jump. And Vance heads out here. And she is so excited. But she hasn't forgotten her friends on the ship. That doesn't look like anything you can pick. Oh, look at the grass and everything. <gasps> this game is beautiful. I also like that they have a nice wide field of view. Thank you very much, Cheryl, and your team for doing that. Because many of us um, older gamers... Oh, look at the little worm! Oh my gosh! Uh, many of us older gamers uh, have difficulty with... Uh, getting seasick uh, motion sickness with games, especially 3D games like this. Um, and in fact, I'm going to take a moment here. Let's see. Ah, oh, yep, that's what I wanted to do. I'm going to go into options, and I'm going to show you a little bit of the options here. Audio is pretty simple, just music and sound. I've all turned that down to about a standard balance that I use for Let's Plays. Um, and controls just show you here. And this is actually what I wanted to do. Automatic camera follow. I don't understand what this does, making it higher or lower. So it would be really good if there was some sort of tool tip that popped up when I hover over this to let me know what it is. Um, I'm going to put it all the way up just to see. Camera sensitivity, I'm going to move down just a little bit just so the camera swings a little bit slower. And we'll click escape. We'll go back to playing here and see if that doesn't swing me around too much. Looks like, it looks like I might, that might have made me closer to her. Let's try moving it back. Let's try here and see what happens. Hmm, don't see any difference. You've discovered, what is that strange blue glow? We've discovered Fairmount. Oh, up there. Oh, if you can climb all the way up a mountain in this game, I'm going to be extremely happy. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello. What is your name? Merrick? I'm Vance. Yeah. That storm that capsized your boat, it also destroyed the East Docks. Now that's a big problem for us, says Merrick. Yeah. This is a trade guild, you see. Without the East Docks bringing in goods, we're not in any position to help you out. Hmm. Let's see here. Take this mallet and gather some stone for Marina. Eight stones should be plenty to prop the East Docks back up. 
Okay, so I will be uh, mildly irritated if I have to just take this quest without saying yes or no. You'll find stone around the grasslands and near the cliffs. Once you've got enough, deliver them back to Marina on the beach. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Pretty much no opportunity to, to decline that and say, you know, we're just tourists. We're just looking around. Now we have to do this thing for this person. Which, I suppose, what are you going to give us to do? You're so cute. So, fun thing um, is that you can notice that even though the characters are not voiced, um, I'm getting kind of clues as to their voices from the small little sound cues that they have placed in the game. You'll see what I mean when he talks. Ah. Yeah, that sound cue. Hello, traveler. You look like you've been through some hard times, says Master Lo. Please come inside. I can offer you some warm food and a soft bed. Well, that's more like it. The townsfolk warmly welcome you. It is unclear as of yet whether we can get a house. That would be wonderful if we could get our own house and furnish it. <gasps> Once your belly is full and your worries are eased, your head hits the soft pillow and you drift to sleep. Vance and Lumi, Lumi tucks up next to Vance and they and she climbs in under the blankets and cuddles up right next to her. <laughs> uh -huh. There, that's much better. You look ready to face the world again. Just one more thing before you go. Ever since that terrible accident years ago, Merc has been popping up all over the place, making life difficult. But the people here are friendly, and we love to share what we know. Yeah. Ask around, and you'll soon have all the skills you need to make your way in this world. Thank you so much! We have new clothes. Alright, so now we can use tab. Does this take us to an inventory of some sort? We have mushroom. Excuse me. Pardon me. We have um, a tattered coat and tattered breeches. I, that must have been what we were wearing. Maybe it automatically put clothes on us. Let's see. Clothing. Basic tunic. Tattered coat. Traveler's sacks. So, yeah, that's what we're already wearing. Yes, that's... Okay, got it. And our backpack. Oh, and right here, of course, it says that we are equipped. Tousled long hair. You mean you can take your hair off? Really? No, you can't. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you could just like, I don't know. Overflowing with possibility. Absolutely. That's my hair. That's what everybody says about my hair. <laughs> we have a mallet. These are key items under crafting. Here we go crafting. We have cooked fish. I'm just looking to figure out here what this means over here. These symbols. It's unclear yet. Chef, carpenter, constructor, tinker, brewer, tailor, and master. Excellent. So Wayfarer, we've already got some things from Wayfarer because we've traveled. Q up here. Ah, it just allows you to move through. Okay. Oh. Lumi is a collection. <laughs> oh, things you can collect. Okay. Lumi isn't a collection. She's our friend. <laughs> but we have room for more friends. Habitat, close to light, personality, gentle. Lumi is a young and gentle sprite that just needs a bit of encouragement. Sprite. Okay. Ah, and it looks like these are our quests. Yeah, just a suggestion. It would be good to have um, tool tips right here. Like if I could click on this. It says journal, and I know it says journal right here. However, if I wanted to quickly kind of remember which one these are, tool tips would be very helpful. Okay, guiding light. As soon as we spotted Jamia, the sky shook, the seas roared, and lightning struck. The ship went down, and I awoke in a strange new place. So the stronger the murk, the more sprites I need to help me. Okay. 
So um, one of the things I believe, I might be in wrong here, but I think this is a post-apocalyptic world. I believe I remembered seeing that and I thought this is post-apocalyptic. I hate post-apocalyptic games and this is nothing like those games. Seek help in Fairmount. Okay. Master Lowe, that was his name. And the East Docks. Okay, so let's continue to walk around. It's looks like it's 2 a.m., but we're night owls. And let's look at the board. Oh, like a notice board. If you bring them to me, I will reward you, Genevieve. Cool. Oh, you can accept it. See there, that's what I wanted. You could accept it or decline it. Um, what the heck? We'll accept. We'll accept it. You know, I just like to have choice. You know, <laughs> just like to not have things shoved on me. All right. I love these little twinkles. They're more sprites or something. It looks like this might be a merchant. Yes. I see. So the shop. Add backpack items you wish to trade with. The shop stock. Add shop stock items you wish to trade for. Yes. Potato seed. Oh, for seeds for farming. A stick. Herb seed. Axe. A trap. Ooh. For catching things. <laughs> we can sell our tattered breeches. But we won't sell our mushrooms because we don't know what they're there for yet. No deal. Their, va their value. Their offer. No deal. Okay. So does that mean they just declined or did they just buy it for two? Let's see. Is it still in our backpack? Yeah. Okay, so what you're saying is like you you like you don't you're not interested? <laughs> or do I have to trade for something? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Cuz it does look like there's no coin in this game. Would you like a pair of tattered breeches? No deal. And I don't really want to trade for anything right now. I don't want to buy anything, especially because we could buy fodder, but eh, we don't need it yet. Okay, well, we'll try to pawn these off on some other sucker. I mean, uh, <clears throat> hopeful townsperson. And up here, look at that beautiful moon. <gasps> My gosh, the moon has rings around it. And it's going down in the sky as, as, as based on the time. <gasps> That is very, very cool. Very cool. All right. Let's talk to one more person here. Hi, Hugh. Uh -huh. Well, hi. I heard there was a new face in town. So you want to learn the ways of a trader, eh? Mm. Well, it's not all just swapping stuff for other things, you know. A trader has to get creative, too. Mm -hmm. Here, go grab me a vine and three stick, and I'll share a trade secret with you. All righty, then. We're just picking up things left and right to do. Hi, Minnie. Uh. I hear you're in need of a roof over your head. Well, you're in luck. Actually, let me try and do a better voice. I hear you're in need of a roof over your head. Well, you're in uh. luck. The old farm in the south field was abandoned when Merc appeared. If you can clear the Merc, you're welcome to the farm. I'd love to see the old pace patch it up and running again. Oh. Take this axe and gather some materials to fix the place up. Okay. The farm is in the south fields through the big tunnel. You can't miss it. That's awesome. We've discovered an axe and Lumi is so excited. She's like, you know what? Let's make cucumbers and all kinds of things. Let's head up here just to see what's up here. Oops, I apologize for that. Camera moving around. Chest. Twine! Yay! We have twine and we have a bundle of sticks. Oh, awesome. Can I open those jars? No. Can I take that jar? No. Does not seem so.
Is there fall damage in this game? I think that she actually did hurt herself a little bit, so I think there is fall damage in this game. She made a little noise. All right, Vance. So this is the way to Gold Lake. Okay. Oops, my apologies. Wrong key. Celium flower. The music is great and they have shadows and it's running right around 60 frames per second. So wonderful job to the developers on making a game which is really optimized for, particularly for recording and whatnot. It's running wonderfully. Wish I could say this about every game that came out. Oh. There's the coast. Can you go into the water? You can! Can she swim? Uh, not really. Does that mean I'm... Okay, no. <laughs> All right, I get that. <laughs> so our map down here in the corner has some stuff here that we should be heading in the direction of. Um, Q and E. Oh, I see. I see. A mallet. An axe. So, oh, so it shows what we have. So we could actually try and cut down some wood. I got it. Okay, well, let's head over here to this tree. Oh, this game is wonderful. Let's chop this bad boy. Look, this is going to hurt me more than it hurts you, tree. I'm really sorry. Oh, <laughs> did you see that? She just went, like, completely... <laughs> she just went all Jackie Chan on that. That was wonderful. <laughs> oh, great. And you just picked the... Oh, thank you for not making me have to do a pickup animation. I appreciate that so much. It looks like there's another tree over here. Wham! Bam! <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, that was great. Skyrim could learn a thing or two from you guys. <laughs> Did you guys get sick of that wood chopping animation in Skyrim? I'm talking to you at Prideful Sloth. <laughs> and you said, you know what? We're not having that in our game. We're not going to make them have to... Sh we discovered a groffle. Okay, well, let's um, just put our axe away so that our groffle friend is not too freaked out. Hey there, groffle guy. Let's grab a... Um, Plant. Hey, oh no, it's okay. No, don't do that. It's all right. I won't hurt you. Lumi, go up and say hi. Well, you know what? That makes sense. I mean, we're, you know, just bugging him. No, I love you. No, love me. I love you. <laughs> we discovered stone. So I wonder if we need to... Uh, Dusk has come, so we take out our lantern. I wonder if we need to um, sleep. I don't see anything that shows. Select one in your compass. Let's actually pull that up. Oh, and she picks it up and holds it up. Oh, my gosh. All right. Oh, this shows what we need to be doing. Okay, so what is make a bundle again? Um, toggle details. A few items for him. He needs... We have stick. We need vine. Um, silk and fulgur fish. Well, let's do this one since we're already halfway through it. And there shows... Oh, guiding light that we already completed. Okay, so this is active task. And that means our menu should show us... Um, where to get these things. Okay. It's leading us in this direction. It might just, looks like it might be just leading us back to you. Yeah, I think it is. So let's see if we can find some vines somewhere. Oh yeah, my only other suggestion at this point would be a brightness slider, because YouTube makes videos very dark. And um, 
it's nice to be able to, to brighten them a little bit. I'll brighten it in post, but I know that this might show up a little bit darker than I would like. Um, just looking around, looking for vines. Let's head up here. Discovered a grass fox? Where? 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 <laughs> I'm so excited. This is so happy. This is such a great game. This is such a happy game. Oh, prideful sloth, I think you have... Oh, they're sleeping. I think you have made a winner here. There's Merc. Lumi, can you clear out that Merc? To purify the Merc, you must use sprites you have found. Oh, we need six. Yeah, I didn't think so. But it looks like this is the, um, what's up here? Is this the beginning of our farm? Okay, Lumi, we need to find some more sprites. Okay, we're just going to head over here because we're still looking for vines. It And it looks like that's just the other side of the, it's okay, little buddy. I was wondering if that dirt was something we could like dig or something. That's why I stopped. So vines go up trees. Hey there. Hi. Who are you? Hello, Violet. Ooh. I want to become a comedian. They can make a person smile or laugh just using words. But I'm missing that one special joke. The one that'll make everyone laugh. My masterpiece, my epic joke. Uh huh. Well, I know I won't find it standing around chatting all day. I need to get out in the world and seek my epic joke. <laughs> I hope we'll run into each other again. Yeah. See ya. Bye, Violet. You know what? I know a joke. It's about this. Anyway. <laughs> Should not be telling that joke. This is family-friendly content. <laughs> Are you a... Uh... Oh, we can pick this up. Okay, what was that? A log? Are you vines? It kind of looks like they are. Let's see. Yay, vines! Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, that's not vines. That's just a bush. That is not a vibe <laughs> at all. Okay. Um, they're little fireflies and stuff. Let's see if we can find more vines. We can pick that up. That's stone. Let's head down here. Oh, look at this. The ocean. Okay. Okay. I get you. I get you. Yay, vines. You can craft items through your journal. Okay, good. We can tie things together. We have a stick. We have wood. We have a bundle of sticks. Uh, key items? No. Crafting. Okay. Carpenter. We haven't got anything for carpeting. Carpenting. There's nothing here. Do we just combine things? Warm milk? Cool. Oh, I see. It seems as if... These are the these are recipes that we know already. And it says here we don't have any fodder. But these are things we could make. I see. Okay. So we could make twine by twisting two vines together over here. And this is a different type of twine that requires fodder. Okay, so this is the only thing we can make right now. 
but and we'll come down to the beach in a minute but let's head in let's head back to whoop sorry about that flipping the camera around let's head back into um town wait let's talk to somebody but we'll head back into town sly mcwiley this is gonna be good <laughs> oh, ho, ho. oh ho, ho. hello so you're the traveler who watched us earlier eh well no wonder you look a little wimpy to me uh... it's important to be strong and healthy you have to have big lust muscles like me to cut fodder all day uh... here take the sickle and show me what you've got cut the long grass and bring me ten times fodder Pop those details into your journal in case you could forget. And so Vance takes out her journal and writes down fodder for the crusty old man. And that gives us an opportunity here to go to our sickle. Okay. I'm just curious if she, whoops. I'm just curious to see. So I just cut it. Woo! That's the way you do it. Just cut. And then head here and cut. And head here and cut. And head here and cut. Vance is very strong. <laughs> oh, I discovered a mystery seed. Cool. And then I can go over here and collect them all. Oh, cut. And cut. And cut. This is easy. You can complete them. Oh, the check mark says it's completed. That's good. Uh -oh. That long grass didn't stand a chance. He really likes the grass. He's staring at it and, mo uh, you know, just marveling over our, our expertise. You're not as wimpy as I thought. Darn tootin' I'm not. Mm. Like I said, having big muscles is important, but it's important to have a big brain like me, too. Uh <laughs> that way you can get other people to cut your fodder for you. Mm. Thanks. Ha <laughs> ha, quest complete. Yay. All right, so we have completed a quest. All right, well, let's just quickly, and I promise I'm not going to get distracted anymore. You know, it looks like that up there in the sky is Merc floating around. Come on, Lumi. Let's go hand in this quest, and then we will finish this episode here. Yay! Hey, guess what? We got it! Let's talk to Hugh. Oh. Huh. Alright, so those things I got you to grab aren't actually for me. They're for you! Oh, thanks, Hugh. Oh my gosh, it rains too. There's weather. That's awesome. As well as making trade deals, you can craft items to trade. Crafted, crafted items generally trade for a higher price, which is nice. Oh. Here is the recipe to craft a bundle of sticks with those items you grabbed. Just remember, you need a recipe and the correct items to craft. Yay! Quest complete! Awesome! That's great. All right. So, we are going to head out here. Let's save. New save. And um, let's make sure I did that right. Save. Yep, good. Perfect. Excellent. We'll go back and we'll go to the title screen. I love it. It's rain. There's rain. There's day and night. It's just great. And the rain slowly fades out to the to the uh, main menu. Wonderful. That has been episode one of Yonder, the Cloud Catcher Chronicles. Yay! Oh, there's someone singing. All right, I will leave you listening to that wonderful song. But uh, I do want to say I'm so glad you joined me today. If you enjoyed what you saw, please hit the thumbs up button below. And if you loved it, join the party and subscribe. I'll see you back here for more of Yonder, the Cloud Catcher Chronicles in the next episode. And as always, thank you so much for watching.